All right, welcome back to another extreme configuration guide. Um, this one is going to be dealing with how to how to set a, set up BGP um, an extreme switch. Um, this is run on a VMware environment. Um, everything in here works fine, but if you notice anything weird, if you're trying to do this in an environment like this, just know that you know GNS3 and anything virtual is is not. Uh, an act, absolute replacement for the real thing, but BGP does work it within here. Um, so we're going to just fire this up, go through these commands, um, show you how to get this up and going. Uh, this is not going to be a like complete guide to BGP, as I am not really a uh, expert in BGP by any means. Um, but I will show you how to get this up and going, and then you can kind of at least have a framework uh, to work off of. Um, so these two units that we have here, we're just going to be uh, doing just a simple setup between two routers. Um, we're going to have uh, one and two. This one's going to be one uh, and two. Just have one link between them. Uh, we're just going to do it very simple. Um, this up here, I'll explain this. It'll it'll make sense when uh, uh, we go through this. Um, but I do have another connection going out. Um, just so we can see uh, how an interface actually has to be functioning to work in BGP. So let's get these things logged in here and we will start this. So these are defaulted. That's the screen that you get. We'll show VLAN so you can see uh, there's nothing here. See, no VLANs. Show IP route. There is no routes besides the default. Um, so that's what we're working with, blank slate. So let's start here with uh, router one in setting up uh, BGP. The first thing we need to do is we need to set up um, our VLAN that's going to be talking between the two devices. Um, actually, before we do that, let's set up um, our host name just so we do not have any discrepancies about that. Configure that, configure SMP system. Two. All right, that way everything kind of matches up. Okay, so here on uh, the first box, Extreme 1, we're going to create VLAN 100, configure VLAN 100, add port 1 tagged, and then configure the IP address. VLAN IP address 10, 10, 10, 1, 30. One dot slash thirty, and then we will forward this. Okay, go over here, do the same thing. Create VLAN one hundred. Configure VLAN one hundred. Add port one tagged. Configure VLAN one hundred. IP address ten to ten to ten dot two slash. 30. No VLAN. Did I not create? Oh, configure. I need to create it first. Create VLAN 100. Now let's try this again. Configure VLAN 100. Add port 1. Tagged. Configure VLAN 100. Add IP address 10, 10, 10. IP forwarding VLAN 100. All right, so we should be able to ping across now. Yep. Okay, so we have that up. We have our VLAN set up. So now we can actually start getting into setting up the BGP part of the configuration. So for this, we're just going to do configuration BGP AS number. So obviously, I'm just going to throw in just a random number into this. I'm just going to use 100 uh, just for this demo, but uh, your autonomous system number is going to be actually your BGP number that you're going to be putting in here if you're working on a live environment. So we're just going to use 100 uh, just as a uh, placeholder for right now. And then we'll do configuration BGP router ID. We're just going to go something just generic like that. You can have this be, you know, whatever your routed uh, your your, your default gateway or whatever you want to put for this. Um, I just put 1.1.1. That's kind of always been my 
um, standard for this. That's the same with OSPF as well. I'll just do something simple like that. Um, you can set up a max path. Um, configuration BGP maximum path, say eight hops if you want it. Um, you don't have to do that command, but if you want to limit it to so many hops, you can. Um, then we're going to create BGP neighbor. Our neighbor is going to be this other box. Um, we are going to be using its IP address from our switch to, which is going to be two. And then its AS number, remote AS number, which is 200. We haven't configured that yet, but we will get to that. Um, and then we need to enable BGP that neighbor to say that it is allowed to uh, facilitate in BGP communication. And then we need to enable BGP. Boom. So that is for this side all set up. There's a couple other commands, but I kind of want to walk through those uh, as we get through this. We'll just get the BGP set up. Uh, if we do show BGP, you can see we have it up, but there's no networks. Um, and then if we do show BGP neighbors, it's just an idle state. Um, we're working on a, a external. We're going to have we're going to act like this is a um, eBGP instead of an internal because um, we're going to have two different IS or uh, AS numbers for this. So this is technically going to be an eBGP uh, configuration. Um, but this is how it should look at this point. Now we'll come over to router 2 and we will create um, our BGP instance create BGP AS number AS create oh configure sorry configure BGP AS number 200 this was the number that we used over here we created that BGP instance and then we need to configure BGP router ID, which is something generic, create BGP neighbor, and this will be uh, the interface from the switch or router one, 10.1, remote AS number 100, and then we need to enable BGP neighbor 10.10.10.1, um, and we need to enable BGP. So at this point, we should be able to see it's established. So we can see that this is a external uh, peering. This is the peer. This is a switch one or router one, if you want to go that way. And we have an established connection. So we are good now. If we show IP route, we are going to see that we have a direct route uh, we have a default route as well. Um, uh, so if we do over here as well, show BGP, it's enabled, show IP route, show IP route. So they kind of look the same currently right now. Everything is matched up. Um, so say, let's, let's say uh, router one um, we have an interface that we want to share and uh, advertise that into BGP. So the first thing we need to do is just create another VLAN that we want to share and advertise. Create VLAN add um, port six tagged. So uh, I'll build this out and then I'll explain this here in a little bit. VLAN 11. IP address one dot one slash twenty four enable IP forwarding VLAN eleven. Okay, so we have that interface. We should be able to ping it here. Dot one we can, but if we show our IP table here, 
we are not going to see it. Nothing has came through through BGP yet. Um, the reason for that is we have not actually advertised anything into BGP. Um, let me just confirm that just so we know that we can't get to it. See, nothing, nothing's coming back. So to actually advertise uh, this interface that we just set up, we need to um, add that into BGP to say we are going to advertise or export direct routes. Um, if you look at show IP route, um, all these here that say D on them, uh, that is saying that this is a direct route. Um, so in order to get this advertised into BGP, we need to do that. Uh, to do that, we need to enable BGP export um, direct route. Direct is just direct routes. Um, the IP uh, address family, we're just going to use IPv4 and then unicast. So what that's going to do is it's actually going to advertise that route into the BGP table. Uh, I should have did uh, show BGP. Okay, so we have that, so we should be able to see show IP route. Yeah, there it is. So we can see that now we can see um, VLAN 11 basically being advertised into the BGP table here. Um, show VLAN, oh, show BGP. Um, we can also see routes distributed. You can see that there's three trying to be distributed. If I would have did this before, we, sh we would have just saw two um, being added in here. Um, and then we can try pinging dot one and we can get through uh, to the other side. Um, the other thing that I was going to say with this is, I think this is true on Cisco's as well, but you actually have to have a, a VLAN interface that's actually being uh, tagged or untagged on a port. Otherwise, you you will not be able to get it actually exported. Um, so if we just do, we'll kind of run through this to show you what I'm talking about. Show configuration. So right now we have <clears throat> VLAN 11 on, it's tagged on port six. Well, this is the interface right here going up to port six. So, and we can, we can see the route, show IP route. See, it's coming through, okay? So if we come back in here and we remove this, configure VLAN 11, let's remove, or is it delete, delete, delete. We're gonna delete ports six from there. So now it's not being advertised, just show IP route. And you can see it doesn't have the little uh, number sign here too. So it doesn't have number sign, so it means it's 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 there, but it's not being uh, you know egressed out on a port. So if we should come over here too, let's show this. It went away. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're building this out and you're you're trying to trying to figure out. Well, I have the route created or the the VLAN created. Everything looks like it's good and it's um, it's uh, being forwarded. Let me just show you here. You know, we have it created, you know, but it's, but it's, it's uh, being forwarded, but it's not going on our BGP instance. It's not being advertised. Well, that's, that's why. Um, so you need to make sure it's on an interface going out. So we'll just add this back in here and uh, it'll, it'll populate again. Add ports six tagged. There you go. So now if we, we look at this again, show IP route. Okay. So. There it is. We got our little asterisk fact, which means it's it's actually being tagged on an on an interface. And we come back over here, show up IP route. Um, there it is. So it's back again. Um, that's kind of all I'm really going to go into. I, I mean, if you wanted to get a little bit more in detail, um, you could you could enable BGP export, and you could actually export uh, all of your OSPF uh, um, interfaces as well or routes. Um, let's just say external 
Uh, you could do those. Um, you could even do this by uh, IPv4 unicast. And if you wanted to have an export policy on here as well, you could do an export policy. And then if you have your policy written up, say uh, BGP allow, um, you could have, you know, have something like that. Obviously, you'd have to set up your BGP allow. This is not just a, a name um, that's standard to the config. That's actually a policy name that you have to define. Um, so you, it's just a policy name. So you could actually set up policies with that as well if you want to you know, go into greater detail of, of uh, locking down certain bits of traffic. Um, but I know some of you have been asking for this. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. If it is, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Uh, thank you again for watching. Take care.